All right, so most of you know by now that I'm a big fan of the Steam Deck, and this is my Steam Deck here. This is the 512 gig version. Uh, it has the anti-reflective screen and stuff, which to be honest is not all that anti-reflective, but uh, you can see here I have a, uh, a skin on this as well. I've got uh, yellow in the front and a wood grain in the back here. It was pretty easy to put on despite the fact that I made a couple of little mistakes here and there. But today we're gonna do a whole new mod. Uh, a company by the name of Devazo sent me a, an interesting solution here, a whole new cooling backplate. Uh, you see that here. Uh, this backplate here, we're gonna install on the back of the Steam Deck and it has this metallic cooling plate on the back, which is theoretically aligned with the heat producing sources in the Steam Deck. And then we've got like a, an adhesive pad here. Um, and then it was also sent to me was this cooling fan here that you can see and uh, it I believe magnetically adheres yeah you can see it magnetically adheres quite well to this cooling pad and this fan is supposed to cool the uh, the steam deck better than by factory I guess um, it does charge by USB-C if you can see that uh, in there, USB-C. Uh, there are some extra accessories that come along with this. They sent this package of uh, little finger condoms and what looks like a guitar pick, presumably to pry the two parts of the shell apart. So we'll open this up now. I don't think I'm going to bother with the finger condoms, but we will pull out this little guitar pick here and set that to the side just to have it ready. Uh, they did also include from Devazo a tiny little screwdriver, a uh, very small star driver, which presumably is the right size for the Steam Deck here. So we'll just set that to the side as well. Uh, what else did they include? Looks like they included a little baggie here of replacement screws, I guess in case you lose some. So that's good thinking on their part. Uh, I do have a couple of extra screwdrivers here handy as well and some pry tools and stuff just to, to make the process go a little bit easier. So I'm going to try and salvage the, uh, the skin on the front and leave it here uh, and just take off the back plate. So before you go to modify anything with the Steam Deck, first make sure that it's fully set shut down not just in sleep mode. Make sure that it's fully shut down. We'll do that now. And then once that uh, completes its process, we're gonna want to make sure that the SD card has been removed before you try and take this apart. Otherwise you will shatter the SD card, break it in half. So make sure you go ahead and remove that SD card. We'll set that off to the side here and uh, then we're good to go. So we're just gonna spin this around here. So we've gotta be careful of the, you know, the buttons, the triggers and stuff. We're gonna have some issues probably pulling this apart. This is my first time doing this, so bear with me and we'll see right now. It looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws to try and remove. So I'm going to slowly try to remove these and see what happens here. These are uh, pretty easy to remove. They're not, uh, you know, Loctited down or anything. I've never actually taken my Steam Deck apart. This will be a good chance to look inside and have a look at that uh, 512 uh, M2 SSD that's on the inside and see how easy that's going to be to upgrade should I ever want to do that. Okay, so apparently there are two different sizes of screws here. Just let me try and highlight it here. So there are two different sizes of screws. The longer ones came out of the out of these holes in the corners here where you can see there's some contour to the Steam Deck. The shorter ones came from the center four here, so keep that in mind when you're putting it back together. All right, so now we're gonna dig out this guitar pick and we're going to try and figure out how this is meant to come apart. So if we just insert the pick along the joint here, All 
right, we're getting somewhere. Slowly but surely. Okay, we've got the back plate separated now. I've had this steam deck for fully a year now, and you can see the inside of this is still pretty darn clean. It's a tiny little bit of a dust spot right in here, uh, right up against, you can see where the fan is. So this is the fan here in the steam deck. And a uh, little bit, you can see it's actually pretty clean. The, uh, the blades and the fan look pretty good. So the next step here, it's going to be to try and fit this custom shell onto the back and see how it fits. So you can see right here, these little buttons here, right and left, these are the contact points for your back buttons here. So you want to make sure that these get lined up so that they're touching uh, you know the right place make sure that it gets lined up exactly accurately uh, you don't want any problems after the fact you should be able to just press these clips back in and it should grab looks like it's doing pretty well here with the grabbing just clipping it back in place just get that clip back in place get that locked down there we go, that's all locked in. Uh, a little bit more needed on this side. There we go, that's snapped in. That's a satisfying snap. You know that it's in there really good. So before I go ahead and put the screws back in, I'm just going to turn this on and make sure that everything's okay. I didn't damage anything on the inside. Okay, so we are back here. Everything's fine. I didn't disturb anything. Of course, I do not have my SD card installed at this time. I want to get everything screwed down first. There are a few other steps that we need to take on the inside. Uh, so I'll be back with you in just a second here when I get this taken back apart. Okay, we're back. So looking at the instructions here, I'll just show you quickly some of the instructions. Uh, what it wants us to do here this metal plate is supposed to make contact with the heat surface here. So on the inside of the metal plate, there's a silicone conductive uh, layer between the, uh, between the heat surface and your metal plate. So we remove the plastic cover for that before we put it down. And then that is going to make contact once everything gets clipped in together. Now that is making contact with that heat surface. We are all clicked in here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put those screws back in and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, just putting the final touches on the screws here, made sure they're all nice and tight, made sure that all of the gaps are nice and tight here. We don't have any weird gaps or anything. Oh, there's a spot here. So I've, I've just clicked that in again. So we're going to try and tighten this screw again. I just want to make sure everything is nice and tight without over tightening. Obviously you don't want to strip the screws or anything, but you really want to make sure that there's a firm pressure on there. So the nice thing about this back plate, first of all, I requested that they send me the translucent purple, which is really cool because you can see through it here now. Uh, but it also, this particular case, uh, or back plate rather, comes with a kickstand, which allows you then to, uh, you know, play sort of in tabletop mode like you would with the Switch, because the Steam Deck itself does not have a kickstand. Uh, it's not the most sturdy stick kickstand in the world, but it does the job. So we've checked all of our buttons to make sure that everything's lined up, there are no jammed buttons. The triggers, the triggers are working fine. The bumpers are working fine. So now we just want to take the last step here, which is looking at the cooling fan. So the cooling fan has a silicone pad as well. All right, so we've peeled the paper backing off of the metal plate here, which is supposed to interface with the fan. We want to get it nice and centered if we possibly can here that set down like that make sure it's adhered nicely and then uh, the the fan basically just magnetically connects to that and it has a USB-C which was provided 
Now, there's a couple different ways that you might want to actually go ahead and use this. You might want to power it from a different source, but theoretically for short-term play, you're, you're going to have to get a USB-C to USB-C uh, cable that you can run from the fan to the Steam Deck. This only comes with a USB-C to USB-A adapter, which is assuming that you're going to plug this into the wall to get it powered up. So I'm going to uh, try to get some power over here just to show it running. I'll be right back. Okay, so the Steam Deck is on. I have brought power over here. I'm now going to plug in the fan. The fan is running and it has some multicolored LED lights in there. But you can definitely uh, you can definitely see the blades moving. Uh, the jury is out on how much of a difference this is going to make as to whether it is going to provide enough cooling to actually improve performance or maybe just extend the life of your Steam Deck, keep things from overheating. So I've just uh, turned on my status monitor here. We're taking a look at some of the temps. Believe it or not, this game farm together here actually really stresses out the Steam Deck. It gets the temperatures really, really high. So I now have the fan on the high position and uh, everything's installed here. We're just going to see normally within a minute or so the temperatures get up pretty high to where it is physically noticeable to feel the temperature on the Steam Deck. So far uh, it is staying nice and cool here. We're running at 60 degrees for the GPU, 59 degrees for the CPU and fluctuating. Uh, that's not too too bad so far but we've only been playing for a minute. I'll, uh, I'll let you know after this has been running for about five to 10 minutes. Okay, so after about uh, 10 minutes here of just playing the game as I would normally, it has been maintaining a temperature of 61 degrees to 62 degrees Celsius, both on the GPU and the CPU. There is almost no discernible heat on the body of the Steam Deck itself. It used to get very hot across the back here, and you could feel like noticeable warmth coming out of the fan vents on the Steam Deck. It really would stress the Steam Deck out, especially as the farm got bigger and bigger and more stuff was loading in. But it seems to be doing really well now. I would say it's dropped the temperature by probably 10 degrees uh, over what it was doing before. So. I'm going to try another couple of games, maybe something a little more graphically intensive, and we'll get right back to you. Okay, so I've switched from Farm Together to uh, Persona 5, and just in the few seconds here between switching games, the temperature dropped down into the 50s, down to 55, 54 as this game is loading. We'll see how things get here. So throughout the cutscenes, we're maintaining 60 frames per second at 54, 55 degrees, which is quite cool. We'll see what happens when we get into the gameplay section here that's coming up quite shortly. Okay, so it's looking after some uh, some action here. We did a little bit of platforming segments here and a little bit of a battle. Uh, the temperatures never rose more than the mid 60s for the most part. And if they did, it was just a blip and it came back down to 62, 63. So I would say that for the money, this system of cooling is making a noticeable difference. Now how much is going your mileage is going to vary depending on what games you play and at what settings you play them and even details like what the temperature and humidity is in your home. But uh, suffice it to say I think this is making a real world noticeable difference. So anyways big thanks to Devazo for sending out this tech. Um, I don't think I would really want to be walking around uh, with this thing on the back of my Steam Deck, but maybe for a docked situation, it may be more useful. So yeah, that is installing the Devazo custom backplate uh, with cooling option and the cooling fan for 
the Valve Steam Deck. Let me know down in the comments below if you'd like me to do more videos of this type with not only the Steam Deck, but other devices as well. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay classy.